Hi everyone and welcome to the Envoy Wallet setup tutorial. Since the release of Envoy 1.1.0, the foundation team are super excited to announce that Envoy can now act as a standalone mobile wallet for your Bitcoin. Perfect for those day-to-day -day spends that don't require an offline device like Passport. There's a number of ways in which you can set up your Envoy wallet, but in this video, I'm going to take you through the simplest option of all. So simple, in fact, that the actual setup process takes only a few seconds. This setup option leverages your existing Android or iOS secure cloud backups to make setup and recovery quite literally just a few taps. Advanced users fear not, Envoy has two other setup options that require you to store your seed words and optional backup file offline, so be sure to check out those tutorials too. The following steps are demonstrated on an Android phone, but the steps required are almost identical for iOS users. Where the steps between the two operating systems diverge, I'll spell out the differences for you. Before we get started, the only prerequisite for completing this tutorial is that you are signed into your Google or iCloud account on the phone that is running Envoy. Once you've confirmed that, let's get started. So upon opening Envoy for the first time, you'll be given two options. The first is to manage Passport so that you can use Envoy as a watch-only wallet to spend from your cold storage. And the second option is set up Envoy Wallet, which is what I'm going to tap. On the next screen, Envoy asks you to choose your privacy settings. The first is better performance. With this setting turned on, Envoy's connection will be fast and reliable, with Tor turned off. If you tap improve privacy, the Tor connectivity will be turned on, but Envoy's connection can sometimes become unreliable with this setting turned on. Advanced users with their own Bitcoin full node can connect to this at this stage by tapping add node at the top right corner of the screen. The next screen, Envoy asks how you would like to create your Envoy wallet. The first option is to manually configure seed words and we're going to have a separate video showing you exactly how to do that. But for this tutorial, I'm going to opt for the simple enable magic backups process. Envoy then asks if we'd like to recover a magic backup or create a new one. Before I tap create new wallet, let's learn how our data is managed using this setup process. Envoy stores your private key inside your phone's secure element. Your Envoy settings, accounts and labels are encrypted using your private key and sent to the foundation server using the hash of the private key as an identifier. The encrypted private key is stored in your iCloud keychain or Android Auto Backup and no data can be read by Foundation, Apple or Google at any time. Envoy is restored using the private key in your phone. If the key is not found on the phone, Envoy will retrieve it securely from your Google or Apple account. Envoy hashes the private key and sends this hash to the Foundation server to download your encrypted backup data. So now that we understand how our data is being managed, I'm going to tap on Create Magic Backup. Envoy then securely creates our seed, encrypts our backup, and then uploads the backup to the foundation service. Android users will then be met with this screen that says, Android automatically backs up your Envoy data every 24 hours. To ensure your first magic backup is complete, we recommend performing a manual backup in your device settings. I'm going to show you how to do that in just a second. And that's it. In just a couple of taps, we have our Envoy wallet set up and ready to go. So I'm just going to head to the settings menu to walk you through a couple of those options. Here you can toggle fiat value display, view amounts in SATs or in BTC. You can also turn on Tor connectivity. And then you can also optionally secure access to the application via biometrics or PIN. Under the advanced toggle, we have the ability to enable testnet accounts, perfect for testing out with Envoy Wallet, and the ability to connect to your own Bitcoin full node if you didn't do that as part of the setup process. If we head to backups, we can see that the wallet data has already been sent to the foundation server, but our Android backup is still pending. So I'm gonna open our Android settings and run through that feature now. When inside your settings, if you search for the word backups, Then choose Backup Data Google Drive. Tap on Backup Data. And then choose Backup Now. And depending on how much data you have stored on your phone or in your cloud account, this may take a few minutes.
and there we go, our initial Android Auto Backup has completed. And just as a reminder, this is only specific to Android users and the manual steps I've just demonstrated only need to take place once. If we head back to Envoy, we can see that our wallet seed has been successfully stored in our Android Auto Backup and we are now ready to transact with Envoy. Users that do want to view and additionally back up their wallet seed can do that by tapping View Wallet Seed from within this menu. You do also have the option to download the backup file containing additional wallet data that is traditionally sent to the Foundation server as part of this setup process.